Good morning, everyone. Hello. I guess it might not be morning when you were watching, but hello, everyone. Welcome to Spirit Coffee Talk. Happy International Women's Day today. Happy New Moon in Pisces tomorrow slash early morning Sunday. We are at the mediums and channelers, or some of them, from Avalon Spirit, and we are here to talk about all of the things. Spirit, join your coffee. Oh my gosh. Grab your too. <laughs> Grab your coffee. I have obviously haven't had enough of mine. It is okay. Maybe that's we're the new moon energy. It well, totally I was just gonna is. say. I was yes. just gonna say we're talking those things, but like this week has been whirly, like holy smokes, whirly, as per my intro. So welcome. How are you ladies doing? Whirly. Whirly. Um, Very whirly. The energy has been really intense this week. Like mm -hmm. um timeline. Mm, I'm going to say more like, okay, the whirly nature that I've really noticed has been in our perception of time and reality for me has anyway. Time ever been wonky? Yes. Time has been wonky, vividly wonky too, right? Like yeah. the, I will look at the clock, say it's three Oh three. I go do something and I'm like, Ooh, how many minutes? Like thinking two minutes went by and 15 went by and I'm like, what? Like that does not compute or mm -hmm. the opposite. Right. I think, oh, I just ran and did something for two minutes, 20 minutes goes by. I noticed time you has realized, been really weird. like more consciously why that like when you're when time is extended for something or when it's do you are you able to like more so now obviously acknowledge it, but like kind of understand why. Mm -hmm. I was doing a reading last night. It was it was so amazing. Oh, it was mm -hmm. for a couple and oh, I just loved it. It was just like so heartfelt. And spirit, like it, it had slowed time down so that we could get everybody to come in. I had so many family mm -hmm. members come through with such important messages and I looked and I was just like smiling and I was like, thank you because time needed to slow down in order for them to receive all the messages. And it was like so blatant and in my face of how time slowed down and I was like oh thanks mm -hmm. <laughs> you know to be able to like consciously observe it from the outside it's like wow that's crazy mm -hmm. that was the most noticeable one of the whole week too because it, it was does three hours yeah it does feel super noticeable like for me it's it's often been kind of after the fact I'm like whoa wait what just happened but you're so right that it's it's in the midst of it that you're like what is happening like it's totally. just so obvious it's really cool I didn't actually put that connection point together mm -hmm. uh the other thing I was going to see too is that a lot of why this is happening is because we are whether we are very consciously actively working towards this or not we're starting to detach from the linear nature of our reality like our minds are just opening in general and they're detaching from the, the rigid nature. And so we're starting to perceive that time really is like circular and breathing. Right? It is oh, not linear. Like I love that. So yeah. It's breathing. breathing. It's like, oh, that's so connective and yeah. lots of the fluid, like mm -hmm. fluidity messages. Hey, going with the flow. Mm -hmm. And that's Which is so fluidity energy. And that's the feminine energy, right? That yes. flow and that Ooh, surrender yes. and International Women's Day, new moon in Pisces, which is water. I have uber Pisces. I'm not sun Pisces, but I am uber Pisces. So this oh has been gosh. like, woof for me. So this morning I'm driving the kids to school and it's like the third time I cried this morning for no reason in particular at all. Like just oh, interesting. so full of emotions, right? And like, I'm not a, like, like, like I, I'm not saying cry or not cry or like good, bad. Otherwise, like it's all good space for everything, but I'm not a crier, mm -hmm. you know, like yes, some same. people really are like, they'll tell a story and they'll just cry. And I love that, but like, I'm not a crier. Mm -hmm. And, um, this morning I cried like three times. I'm driving to school just like normal. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, just like Mom. holding it together the motions. And I look mm -hmm. at my son who's 10 and then beside me and he's like you okay mama I'm like yeah 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 I'm good I'm good I'm good I feel that it. it's good to feel it it's good to feel it he's like did we change the music <laughs> there's like bridge over troubled waters and like all these <laughs> that's funny 
That's true though. I noticed it as well. And I didn't even think of it until you brought it up. But the last two days, I've also been way more emotional. Like I was having a chat with my son um, about something way more random, but just where he like stood up for himself and I'm talking to him and my eyes are watering and I'm about to totally tear up. And I'm like, like it was all happy, positive though. Like, it, and it was more even his observations in another person. Like it was weird. And yeah. I was just like, <gasps> I'm like trying to hold it in. I was like, what am I, what's happening to me right now? And that makes a lot of sense. You don't cry much either, do you? I don't. No, like I feel <laughs> deeply I so, feel I, but... so much in things, but I often don't cry. And again, same, like, I think crying is good. In fact, I have had to learn to embrace it more and like mm. be present with crying. And so I, I actually kind of appreciate when it happens, but it doesn't happen very often. So very interesting. It is totally the Pisces moon. Yeah, it, it's got to be totally. connected with the like deep feminine of like when there's like when you say, OK, just because it's International Women's Day, that, that why does that mean it's a feminine day? Well, here's the thing, just like Valentine's Day or anything, when there's a bunch of energy put into, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's kind of thinking and feeling and putting out the same kind of vibration, it intensifies it. So if we're celebrating International Women's Day and we're talking about the women in our lives that make a difference, who have guided us or who have led the way in different areas, who have taught us this or just their existence and like the moving towards the feminine and embracing that, it amplifies the energy, right? It amplifies the appreciation for the feminine. Mm -hmm. And therefore it brings forth that energy. So I think that we're combined with the, the new moon. I think this is like such a brilliant combination. Like yeah. what a little gift from the universe, hey? Yeah. Is that we can just come together and enjoy our femininity in all of us, you know, woman or man, like all of us embrace the femininity and embrace that energy that's surrounding us. Whether, you know, like even if it's like means coming to self and giving yourself a good old nurture day. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and what's interesting is as you're talking, spirit, spirit was like echoing the words you were saying of like embrace the femininity. And then they said to like find it in yourself, find it outside of you. And even if you can't find it in physical people outside of you, what is the embodiment or the representation to you? And then they reminded me of each of us, we connect with a different uh, goddess energy. So for some, that International Women's Day energy may be connecting to the goddess. Who mm -hmm. is your goddess? What is that? Goddess, holy figure, saint, angel, whatever. Um, maybe even like a past political figure on the planet that made some serious changes or a divine grandmother. But like tune in to that energetic frequency today because they're saying there's such a benefit in how it feeds your soul. And I'm also being shown this imagery right now of like sitting in this, uh, like these warm alcove waters and this beautiful waterfall, sort of like the ones we saw in Maui, like, but warm, not cold, <laughs> washing over you. But it's like the divine feminine waters flow over and through you. Oh, and I, it's like rainbowy and kind of yes. crystalline-y. Yes. I felt yes. I had rainbow. to wear a rainbow today. I was like, I must wear a rainbow today. Yeah, and you I have like a rainbowy color too. I'm like, I need yeah. to like, represent the feminine with color that's right oh. and spirit has been in my daily card readings talking about rainbows like crazy <laughs> it's so i'm wearing brown and black <laughs> <laughs> You're hilarious. okay but i have a funny story about this so continue and then i'll no that's it that. that's it honestly it's just like bathing in those waters and the rainbow energy is so consistent right now okay go black oh, and brown okay <laughs> Wah, wah. No, um, <laughs> so it's so funny because I, um, so, oh gosh, how do I even articulate this? Cause it's still forming together. My, it's so interesting how we just get so led in things. So tomorrow I'm actually getting a tattoo that is very, I'll, I'll send you some pictures, um, of symbolic of feminine energy. And this has been a piece through my illness, through well, no, I want to say my experience with illness through um, so much of the body healing that I've been having to go through in the last year. I've really, and in my life, I've, I've, I've um, emulated this masculine energy to 
like keep my shit together basically <laughs> is how it goes right a compensatory strategy exactly Definitely. right and and like when we talk about you know we, we often talk about like the psychological side of things and you know how trauma and experiences and like all those things can impact us and oftentimes what that can start to do is put us more into um, a masculine energy because we feel like we have control right where it's like if I take control of this situation then I can be okay and blah 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 and so I've been undoing so much of that because I've learned through my healing how much that has manifested as illness in my body oh. and and other things and so like unpacking all of that and we're healing and all the good things and so a few weeks ago I was like I need to get this tattoo and then I'm like yeah there's a lot going on right now like I don't need to do it da, da, da. And so I kind of was just like, I'll, I'll do it in the future, like put it on the back burner. And then I was doing a meditation a few weeks ago and like I'm in it and la la la. And all of a sudden my eyes like pop open. And there's this one um, tattoo artist who did my uh, tattoo to honor Dexter that um, I just really love her work. And so I was like, oh, I, I, I want to work with her in future. And she is like closing up her shop doesn't know where she's going to move to is, you know, maybe not going to be working for a little while. And so I was like, Oh, I'm going to book with her. And then that's when I kind of decided now I'm going to back off. And then a couple of weeks ago, I was in a meditation and all of a sudden my like eyes pop open and I'm like, I need to book with her right now. And I messaged her and it was like, she only had like a week and a bit left on her like lease in her place. And so I messaged her and I was like, do you have any spots? Like, I really need to get this. I don't know why it's so important, but like, I need to get this right now if possible. And she's like, yeah, my last day in the shop is on the ninth. That's the only, and that was the only time we could line up the timing of it. So it's tomorrow. And I was chatting with her on Wednesday and I'm like, okay, we're going to do like this feminine energy flower and this and da, 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 da. And as we're talking, like, I did not realize it was International Women's Day today. I did not realize it was a new moon in Pisces or a new moon at all. Um, new moon in Pisces, my rising and moon is both in Pisces. So for me, no it's like- No way, your yeah. rising and moon is in Pisces? <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Emo. Oh, <laughs> That's why you're in black and brown. In Pisces too. <laughs> yeah, but then it's so funny because it's such a important piece of my journey right now. Whereas like for you two, I see that- really embodied in you already i think mm. Jeanette's frozen she looks happy but she... i'm yeah like you guys are both frozen you guys are both frozen no yeah. you no no you no, are you. oh there, there we go are. there we go <laughs> and we're back we're back we're back holy moly <laughs> anywho so that's emotion. why i'm black and brown <laughs> i'm not colorful yet because it's coming i guess we'll see oh my gosh wow. i can't wait to see pictures that's yeah, amazing but... Yeah. So I find it funny that I'm in like very muted colors today, given yeah. like moving through this, you know, whatever. Very happening. interesting. Mm -hmm. And you're literally sandwiched between International Women's Day and the moon for your yeah. tattoo. Yeah. Like it's like bridging both sides for you. Yeah. So curious. And I had no intention of getting another tattoo. Yeah. So the fact that I am, it's like, hmm, all right. Interesting. So we're rolling with it. Sorry, mom. So here's a question. So we, we talk a lot about full moons and, you know, there's a lot out there about full moons. What do you both do to honor the new moon? Like, do you have a new moon practice or anything different with the new moon or that's, or is it similar to the full moon practice? Like what do new moons represent for you? How, like, I know we know it's like new ideas and intentions and rebirth, but like, what do you do with it? So I like, I love working with the moon. That was part of my like original training of like yoga and women's yoga and like prenatal and postnatal. And like, mm -hmm. I worked with women in trauma to help them get their um, like cycles back. And we worked very closely with the moon and the moon cycles. So like the moon is like, that's near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. So in saying that, <clears throat> I look at like the moon phase a lot like the um, phases and the cycles of, of our seasons too, right? So we, we all have seasons, but like new moon represents like winter and which would represent like the menstruation of like your like menstrual cycle. Okay. So those things are like, you come inside, right? You're not going and celebrating and like fruits of your labor kind of thing. You're going inside and you're balancing, and you're staying warm, and you're creating, right? You're, you're bringing, it's like heightened intuition. 
And with that natural intuition is when you have that creation of thoughts, right? It's not the doing, it's not even the planning. It's the, it's the intuitive knowing of bringing forth for the greatest good kind of thing. So you sit and you like honor your cycle, you honor the, the darkness of the moon and you, you know, it's like coming inside. And then with that intuition that you build up and the things that come forward are the things that allow you to see what is that you're not bringing with you on this journey in the, in the next cycle. And then what you are and what you want to like put, put into the soil, what you want to plant kind of thing. But it's more about the creation of the idea of it, the manifestation in your mind, the, the intuitive knowing, and then you know, spring is the time to like really, and then start like, it's like the to-do list. It's like getting your energy back. It's like, you know, and then summer, which is fertility, which is full moon, which is like ovulating, kind of like all that energy is like the, the celebrations. It's like gratefulness for everything that showed up from all the stuff that you planted and everything that you created, you know, and it's the dancing and it's the movement and it's the, you know, connections. And then fall is starting to wrap things down and you fall is the one where you like really get to see what's no longer serving you. You really get to identify the things that aren't coming with you and like preparation to come in again. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So back to new moon, like rituals or something is like come inside, maybe light a fire. And it's really the best time to tune into your intuitive knowing. So it's like great for intuitive journaling asking your guides, your higher self to come forward and guiding you into any knowledge that you need to know for this next coming cycle, which you really want to let go of setting intentions, but like what comes up on that intuitive knowing kind of thing. Beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. descriptions too. Like you can really see the differences between them. And as soon as you said, like lighting that fire, I was like, yes, I want to be there too. Yes. And, and warm drink. And cozy sweatpants like I think yes, literally that's what I'm gonna do on Sunday I'm, no, I'm going to do that because I like that <laughs> great totally yeah mm -hmm. yeah how about oh. you what do you do yeah I love that description and, and I feel like I I feel like I've often heard it described almost opposite like you hear about like like um, menstruation with the full moon is is seems to be more the conversation that is out there um as like a focus and so I really loved how you described it Lisa because that's always how it's felt more to me and in the sense of like I've always found new moons don't necessarily now they do because it's just more part of the conversation but traditionally it feels like new moons didn't get as much conversation and they weren't seen they weren't looked at as as powerful or as important right it's like oh it's a full moon everything's happening for me I tend to feel them a lot more deeply than I do um full moons and with new moon I I like again with all the Pisces and emo Libra aspects of me like I <laughs> It's like, I love the feeling. And so the new moon is like inward and like dark and juicy and like sit with your stuff and just like all the good and the bad and the ugly and the beautiful and all the things and like in the darkness. And like, I love the light and like even our new home has so much bright light and I love that, but I love dark, cozy space like even if it's sunny I'll go out Ooh. and like get my son and then I go back into my room and like close the blinds for a little bit in the morning and like yeah. cocoon in so like I like that feeling um because it, I feel like it allows me to kind of like safely connect in versus with the full moons it feels very intense and like outward and kind of um yeah like everything is just under a spotlight and that feels like a lot to me sometimes so I often I love new moons uh, so for me I it kind of changes moon to moon and I just kind of flow with it it's usually I'm like cozied up on you know the couch or in bed and it's like darkly lit and I'm you know journaling and pulling cards and just sitting with whatever's coming up um yes. yeah and I'll kind of I'll kind of roll with it but it's usually very like quiet and solitudinous whatever mm -hmm. it looks like yes. Mm -hmm. yes that aligns <clears throat> I find that for me the one consistent thing is I usually set intentions on mm -hmm. a new moon 
like kind of like a gratitude and intention, right? So like what I'm grateful for and what I would like to continue with or like, what is the next yes. thing? I'll set that. And I know some moons, I feel very deeply connected and it's like really sacred and this whole experience and other moons, I just, I'm like, I'm not feeling a ton this moon, but I'm just going to, here's this and here's this. And there's like three mm -hmm. points. That's it. Right. Yeah. But I try to always be consistent in doing it. Like a recognition I find is really important for me to recognize the energy in the moment and whether I'm fully like fully in it or just kind of stopping by to say hi I kind of roll with that but I've definitely noticed the lack of conversation around the new moon and the surprising intensity of a new moon because I think we tend to think new moon oh it's new moon dark moon not much full moon is the big one and full moon does bring out a ton of energy from people but so does the new moon Definitely. And the new moon brings out a lot, oftentimes like inside, whereas the new moon brings out a lot outside. We Which act makes out, sense. we, because you know, the like, new moon is like the end time is the intuition, intuition. Yeah. It is the time of like, you know, coming inside. They used to come into the red tent and come mm -hmm. and gather together as women. And like the red tent is, was like such a whatever. And then full moon was when everybody was like getting ready to have babies you know and they were like dancing they were like connected to their like like sensuality and it was very much movement and dancing and like doing mm -hmm. whereas the new moon is like coming in but yeah. the intensity of the intuition is mm -hmm. huge for yeah. the new moon totally what cards did you pick yeah what do you got there um so I, I wanted to pull it for like the collective in new moon, like what, how to guide us through new moon and women's day. And, um, and I got flexible. Hmm. Interesting. 19. Interesting. I really feel like part of that is like the universe is wanting to surprise people. So don't be rigid in what you think. Be open, like let the winds of change move through you and show you things maybe you wouldn't have seen from other perspectives yeah common sense is important but so is an open mind stay curious stay open stay aware and then at this time others will be more flexible with you too okay mm -hmm. and that really is like more of that feminine energy is that fluidity and it's like not being so rigid in it and allow the emotions to run through you, allow things to kind of, without being so attached to any results or expectations in this. And so that's really, mm -hmm. really beautiful. I can't help but like notice that she's on an egg. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That stuck out to me because it's almost like the tree growth out of this like egg, which is kind of like, like the, the woman's intuitiveness yeah right? yeah so Amazing. like that I love these cards wisdom of the oracle they're great I, hey I know I just got them and I love them you haven't had the them I thought I you always got, had them too I just got four new decks and I just can't get enough oh I interesting mm -hmm. yeah I feel like that was one of my like first me card too. decks me too really yeah, yeah. I didn't and, want to buy it either when I first saw it because I was like, no, I don't want red. I want like, like pinks and purples and whatever. <laughs> and then Spirit was like, put them on the floor and you'll feel which one resonates. So I did, which I do this all the time now, but I closed my eyes and my hand kept going back to that deck, kept, kept going back. And it has been one of the best, most communicative decks. Well, I mean, it's got everything. It's yeah. got so many cards, number one, and it literally hits every point imaginable. And it's so accurate. And I feel like I know the cards because you pull yeah. them and all that, but yeah. Spirits had one more, and of course, no oh, deep knowing. Yes, deep knowing the intuitive On nature the of the new moon. Look at the dark moon there. Yeah. Everything right there. Yeah. Deep knowing. Connect to your intuition. Is that an owl? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you know what's so funny? A card that I pulled is this one. Uh, you see clearly now. Oh, and it's the owl, the white owl. And I've been staring at it this whole time we've been talking. I keep that's like, forty three. Hey, yeah. and this is 43. Oh. No They're way. both 43. You see clearly now in your deep knowing. Why are they both 43? I don't know. Interesting. 
Yeah. Angel number 43. And seven. And seven. Well, seven is totally spiritual path. Like seven, seven, sevens have been crazy Everywhere. for me. Every yeah, mm -hmm. all over. All over. Like. Oh, that was big. That yeah. I felt that. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, that feels complete. And yeah. That was fun. Thanks for meeting. I miss you girls. <laughs> we like we connect during the week via text and stuff, but it's so nice to see your faces every day. It's like, hi, friends. <laughs> Okay, well, we uh, are wishing you a happy International Women's Day, happy new moon this weekend, and uh, we hope you can hold some space to honor yourself, honor the feminine, however that shows up for you. And we hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment, let us know how you liked it, let us know what you're doing for the International Women's Day as well as the new moon. And uh, we hope to see you again. And tag any women that you want to yes. acknowledge on this. Yes, yes, tag yes. Tag them all. Let's, let's gather this group. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye.